Good morning from Shinjuku. So uh, remember when I told you guys this is one of my favorite places in all of Tokyo? This is why. Welcome to Godzilla Head. <laughs> At nighttime, this place is completely shoulder to shoulder packed, neon lights everywhere. It's amazing. But what I really want to take you guys to this morning is the Godzilla Head and go see the Godzilla Cafe. Not sure if it's open this early, but we're going to check it out. So cool. Oh, bummer. So. Actually, the hotel that the Godzilla head is at is closed. Oh, that sucks so bad. Well, at least we got to see it from the street. Shinjuku is a crazy, crazy place. At least we got to see it from the street. It's really cool because you can actually go up to the very, very top and go see the Godzilla like face to face. It's super awesome. And hopefully when everything gets back to normal, they'll open it up again and I'll thank you guys. God, now it is pouring. Crap. <laughs> this is not going according to plan. Oh no. Well, already a very eventful morning. Went ahead, stopped, and got a quick combini breakfast here. And we are starting out with another awesome shop visit. We are heading out to Spoon Type 1, the legendary Honda shop. It's like it's like the Honda shop. Very, very cool. We're going to go meet up with Jimoto-san, who is the one that helped me with my spoon kit on the S2000. It's going to be an awesome day. We're going to eat this, and, and we have a short 30-minute drive. Boss Coffee and still unmatched the 7-Eleven pancakes. Guys, I'm not even going to lie. I've been having a rough trip. Number one, I get kicked out of my Airbnb. Number two, I'm like, let's stay in Shinjuku. It's gonna be great. Won't be as, won't be as packed. Get here, it's unbelievably packed. I don't even know where I'm at or how I'm supposed to get out of here. But there's no parking here either. Number three, I was like, oh, we can go see the Godzilla statue. Nope. Also, waking up this morning to find out. I forgot my deodorant at the other Airbnb. So guess who is wet and stinky because it's freaking pouring outside. Me. I have no idea where I'm at or how I'm gonna get out from here. And is this, can I even go this way? Don't know, but we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. Here, moral of the story here is even the roughest trip in Japan is still a great trip. Okay, I think I, think I figured it out. We're gonna head to, oh, this guy lost his umbrella, rip. Um, all right, we're gonna head to type one now. This is pretty damn cool. We are, we actually get to park inside of type one. Literal Honda heaven. I am so pumped to be back here. And I was greeted right as I came in to the type one FK. Like I said, to start our day out here, we're going to be getting a shop tour with Jimoto-san of the Type 1 facility. We were here back in 2020, and we got to see all of the actual Spoon race cars with Ichi-san. And he actually let me sit in all the cars, rev them up. But I don't know if they maybe have the race cars upstairs this time, but I'm sure we'll check it out. But one thing that's really cool about Spoon Type 1 is the engine build room, where you can actually view and watch them building the Spoon engines. And much like mines, it's so cool to watch masters at their craft of literally he's just building an engine back there with all the pistons, rods, valves, everything is laid out, knowing exactly how to spec the engine every nut and bolt. So 
God, this Type R is so sick. My favorite wing for the FK8 is definitely the Spoon Swan Neck. So awesome. Spoon wheels. Man. Interior of the Spoon car, Spoon bucket with Spoon steering wheel. The FK8 is just so good. I'm very excited for the new FL5. I, I don't know, I need to see them both in person, but I think I might like the FL5 a little bit better than the FK8. But this thing is so awesome. Whoa, I never knew that this was a thing. I've been to Spoon a couple of times, but I never knew they had a car elevator in here. So I guess this leads to upstairs where they can move cars up and down. Shop goals. Their upstairs facility is really, really cool. It's kind of more of their showroom. Ah, yes. This is what I thought. The Spoon race car S2000. Japan is just on another level. Shimoto san. Yes. First GTR in Spoon? Uh, no. Oh. We, we take the uh, legit color. Oh. Yeah. oh. What GTR? Yes. No uh, way. We have. Uh, you want to run? Yeah. yeah. I, I will give you. That's cool. Yeah. You have rigid collar for this? Yes. Spoon has rigid collar for GTR. Yes, of course. No way. We're doing it. Definitely. For those of you guys that don't know, this is Jimoto san. Jimoto san works for Spoon both in Japan and the US. And Jimoto san actually helped me get my spoon kit for the S2000, <laughs> yeah. which is really <laughs> awesome. But he was telling me that this is an FL5 or uh, FL Series SI, which you guys don't get in Japan, right? No, no Japan. So, yeah, this is from the US, as you guys can see. Left hand drive. So cool. Shimoto san, what do you think about the new FL5? So excited. Huh? Yeah? Yeah. It looks really, really uh, yeah, good. good. And that's uh, simple, but uh, wide and uh, long exactly. and low. Uh, it's so nice, yeah. So I can't nice. believe how much they changed from the FK8. Yeah. And all good things, <laughs> which is very surprising too. Yeah. Is Spoon going to have some good plans for the FL5? Yeah, of course. Uh, oh, we will make uh, some items mm. and uh, we have to do the racing mm. for the FL5. Mm. Uh, we have some uh, project uh, yeah. making project oh, right now. Nice. Yeah. Well, uh, Jimoto san will we'll be in touch about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the SI is kind of to you the old style of Type R. Yeah, old style Type R. That's so cool. this is the uh, uh, same engine, yeah, ba base Sa grade same and the same as yeah. the Japan version. Yeah. But, yeah, but the two more power. more power. So JDM version is uh, 185 horsepower, but in this car. Oh, they have a uh, 200 horsepower. Wow! And uh, it has a uh, LSD uh, in, uh, in the battery. Better. Yeah, and uh, big size brake roller. Uh, this style is a uh, uh, same as a uh, old style Type R tuning. Oh, but so, an SI version. Yeah. that's cool. That's yeah. that's very cool. And it's like yeah. to, it's cool to see how Honda has grown generation to generation. Yeah, because now they kind of got like their old school Type R tuning in yeah. the SI, whereas they just go crazy with the FK8, yeah. right? This is uh, super uh, supercar. Yeah, <laughs> Type R. Honda supercar. Yeah, super, yeah. <laughs> uh, and the uh, Type R is uh, a special model uh, right now. Right. Uh, but the uh, uh, old style Type R is uh, this car. That's so interesting. That, yes. That's a very cool way to look at it and to hear that from Motosan of Spoon. Like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Jomoto san is going to take us in the engine building room here. Oh. Right, this is for FD2 engine. Okay, oh, 28. Sick. So spoon FD2 engine. Same temperature for year. So mm -hmm. we need a uh, so make temperature a control. Same uh, same clearance. Uh, so we need a uh, heat uh, room temperature mm -hmm. and. Uh, same temperature is the uh, same uh, uh, temperature at uh, low oh. and the engine is the uh, same temperature whole whole year. Really? Yeah. So, temperature control. Yeah. And you can see here the pistons are all laid out and laid out specifically to match so the engine rotation is all equal throughout each piston. Freaking spoon, man, that is so cool. That's a lot. Already. The S2000 is actually. That's so cool. 
So you can test the pressure of how much the crank moves inside of the engine. Not the spoon tuning velocity. Um, the the difference is between the the, the thrust for the each cylinder is like about 0.5 to 0.3 millimeters. Wow, that's just so cool. Spoon's engine philosophy is like not using like a. They're using like OEM parts, but they refine it super hardcore that it's like you don't need to get like aftermarket pistons and stuff. Right, well that's what Alba and I were just talking about. Like the spoon philosophy for building an engine isn't necessarily to make the biggest or the craziest amount of power, but it's to refine it um, to a spec that Honda didn't do. It's like OEM, but beyond, which what, is really, really cool. What, what Jomoto-san told me before is that like Spoon, they really try to do what Honda couldn't do from the factory because Honda they have to make things at a you know mass produced level, but here they can do things at a much more like smaller scale with higher level of craftsmanship and detail. And it's it's amazing that it's basically pretty much sanctioned by Spoon at this point. Yeah. It's like their one of their it's so cool, yeah, it's so cool. The, yeah. Did you notice like the spoon, the like, board and stuff, no oil stains and every stuff time, yes. every time you hear so. This is the Goesu. Goes 5S stands for the, it's kind of like a philosophy of like workshops mm -hmm. in general. We, um, so 5S stands for Seso, which means to clean, clean up your work area or like in, in the workshop in general. Setong, which means to organize. Mm -hmm. Seri, which means to, you know, have it in the correct order so you will get what you need at the correct timing. Shukan means to do it regularly. Seket means to be clean, spotless clean. So this That's so cool. <laughs> all of these starts with S, right? Seket, Seso, Seton, Seri, Shukan. So it's everything starts with S. That's so cool. Which That's nice. Go, go, go S. S. Go S. We call it O. Oh, we call it Go S. That's cool. And you know, the the philosophy is so cool here, and it's cool because we get to check out so many different tuning shops while we're out here. And this compared to say when we went to Mines yesterday, it's like a 180 difference. Like Mines is literally not AC controlled. It's a little bit messy. But it's like, it's not, not in a bad way, just two different tuning philosophies. And you can tell the quality that comes out of mine is also incredible. It's just, Spoon has a different philosophy than mine. Yeah. It's cool to get to see all types of different ones when we're touring these different shops in Japan. I really like also, what I, what I find really interesting is, you know, this is like a like a shop, an engine shop, right? Yeah. But the philosophy of the way they do their work is the same as the philosophy that they have for every aspect of other kinds of work, like here in Japan. Like, in fact, this is made to look like a soba shop. So when you walk by, you get the impression that, you know, it's like the old soba masters are making the soba. And That's so cool, that except it's an engine. <laughs> exactly, except it's an engine, but it has like that same lineage of thought. That's so rad, dude. There's nothing like this in the US. Imagine you're just walking down the street in your local city and you walk past Spoon Type 1 and someone's building an engine in the window. Alright, let's get a look at the FK8 engine bay here. Masa, I want it so bad. I want it, I so, want bad. it so bad. I want it so bad. <laughs> Jomoto san won't sell this car yet. Jomoto san, can I buy this? This car? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Later. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. Is it uh, pretty stock right now? Uh, so this uh, engine is uh, already uh, balancing. Mm. Uh, so oh, so you, you yeah. balanced it in the engine? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, all stock. Ah, so that's cool. So it's like a stock refresh. Yes. So did you 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 so pull you pull this? Uh, just make a balance. Wow, and, uh, that's so cool. Yeah. So uh, our first step is uh, uh, all stock, and uh, need need to check the uh, limit. Oh. So we we want to. Uh, we want to do the, uh, blow the engine. Mm. So, so you want to blow the engine yeah, to see what the limit so, is? Yeah, uh, we need to know the limit. Wow, uh, okay, so the purpose for this FK is you refresh the engine and now you want to push it to the limit 
to see how far it yeah. can go. Wow, okay. So no spoon turbo, just stock refresh? Uh, this is a new uh, uh, spoon turbo. Oh, turbo. spoon turbo, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. But so uh, stop motor with uh, some uh, spoon items mm. and then uh, engine blow Bal up. Balance, yeah. yeah. Throw up is so oh, we get the experience for the limit. Ah, yeah. so did it already blow up or not yet? Uh, not yet. <laughs> yeah. So they're actively trying to blow it up. That's kind of funny. That's, but that's so interesting that you guys actually test it to that limit. You know, yeah. not many people do that. So they're mm -hmm. put they're putting their engines and their parts to the test to see how far it can actually go. Yeah. In case you guys come to Type 1, come find my signature on the wall. Look at on. I got the red Yeah. I'll, I'll buy it soon. Okay. <laughs> One last look at the R34 in Spoon. It's so cool to see this car inside. As many times as I've come here, I've never been able to put my GTR in the shop. So this is so cool, Jules Hassan. I got to visit my shop. Thank you so much. So Thank cool. You. We'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah. All right, we finally parked. Okay, explain to me what where we are. I'm not really sure what. So we're in a, an area called Nakano. Yeah, we're in an area called Nakano. Well, specifically, right now we're parking at a hospital. Uh, <laughs> Nakano is one of like the older districts of Tokyo, and they wanted to take you here to show you like some an older culture and also there's some like Godzilla connection here. That's where I need to go. This is why I love Japan here. Just a random ramen shop underground. Check this out, guys. So it's super hot today. Super hot day. We went with it's basically uh, cold silver noodles, <laughs> dipping broth, I guess. <laughs> very, very good. And it's a chill soft for hot day. I've never had this type of chicken. <laughs> Awesome lunch. Time to walk around and check some things out. All right, it's time. Let's see what we can find. We're on the hunt for Godzilla and Pokemon. The Nismo car collection of the Nissan, or the Super GTR 35 GTR that we saw yesterday at the Heritage Collection. I think I'm gonna get it. GTR. Ah, Nismo Hike. Kore wa. Daijoubu Here's the pickup. We got the Super GTR 35 and the test car. But the coolest part about this one, it comes with the original Nismo badge. So at some point, this was probably sold at the Omori factory or at a dealership or something. Oh, Tomika ni bidetto da. Hi. Let's take a look. Let's Dude, take a look. this is so cool. Let's look at this. Dogfight special. This has to go in the collection. One of my now, favorite now you have to get an FD. One of my favorite cars. Mm hmm. Hi, hi. Okay, this. Oh, you have the one with the DVD too, DVD. if you want. It's so sick, dude. I like that it's like almost like. It like it looks anime, like the way they did the painting and the mm -hmm. styling. Mm -hmm. It's so cool. Definitely one of my favorite pickups so far. Well, you're gonna have to pick up more, bro. Oh, did, no. did you buy your bigger wallet, Ben? <laughs> did you buy the big wallet? You brought the big wallet? Big boy wallet. Dude, you That's need sick. a big boy wallet for today. That's my favorite race oh, of all the whole so series. Sick, dude. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, 
All right, we spent way too much time there, and we haven't even got to the Godzilla part. So oh, this is yes. Shot. Not for yours. You're so, you're so screwed. I already see, I already see Godzilla. I'm already screwed. Oh man. Screwed. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm in trouble. Here you go. This is the shop of all the Godzilla stuff. I'm look in trouble. This, I'm in trouble. Oh, no. oh my God. I'm gonna get this, dude. You imagine me carrying this on dude, the plane? Dude, this is over, over, over a thousand bucks, bro. Yeah. This is over a thousand bucks right it's now. It's sick, though. Can you make this a lap child, please? Yeah, right? <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's gonna be like, like this tall one. Okay, can actually start screaming. This is like a Look at this. We did it. Okay. The X Plus Gamera. <laughs> Nice. I love the minifigures. I have like a cool little X Plus collection in my Godzilla collection. I like they like shrink them down, you know. So this one's super cool. Uh, ugly dude. Hell yeah. Well, Masa, successful Makana trip, I would say. I'll show you guys when we get. I don't even know where I'm staying. I'm still homeless. Oh, actually, I'm gonna stay with Albo tonight. So I'll show you guys the Godzilla pickup when we get home tonight. But successful trip. Okay. All right, guys, well, we are actually heading out to Built by Legends to go view their shop. If you guys don't remember, it was during ours day I got to drive the Built by Legends R32 that they built in collaboration with Mines. Um, so we're just gonna go check out their shop for a little bit, take a look at some of the cars that they have there. And then we actually have a pretty big meet tonight at Daikoku, which is gonna be super fun. I'll take you guys along for as well. It has been a long, brutal day and we still have a lot more to go. But I hope you guys have been enjoying all the Japan content so far. We've been having a blast. It's super, super packed. And these coming next two days are gonna be even more. If you guys are enjoying, make sure to hit that like button for me because it does help out the channel a lot. But okay, we're gonna be following Albo and we'll see you guys at Built by Legends. Welcome to Built by Legends, AKA BBL. You guys might know them in the US as the GTR restoration, or you probably have seen this Civic that was built at Spoon. We actually viewed this back in 2019 when they were welding the titanium exhaust manifold here, which is pretty insane. But uh, this is where the magic happens. This is where they start their restorations. Their cars go to Garage Yoshida for body work. Well, at least for the GTRs I know of, and then engine work at Mines. But this is where the magic starts. Oh, they have a Mines replica here. Replica, yeah? It's old. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same, right? It's this one has the RB28 though. Uh, I think, yes, yes. yes, it's, yes. The, it's the 28. Right. This is so cool. What a cool shop. I should have brought my oh, This is awesome. Look at this like little showroom. Lots of construction. I would literally, I would live here, 100%. Oh, here's the old exhaust manifold from the Civic. <laughs> so cool. What an awesome shop. Not for sale. I gotta show you guys how cool this is real fast. So this is the back office, so they're very uh, yeah. So BBL kind of. Brush. We were producing the English versions. Oh, uh, okay, version okay, of okay. That's very, very cool. So. What's super cool though is they keep an old record of some, like pretty much all of their old work with hot version, right? Right. And in this specific hot version, if you look at the back, the Tokyo Drift Evo that we now own is in this DVD. So you definitely got to check this out. This is so cool. And they're actually gifting this to me because I now own the car, which is, that's awesome. And you guys actually filmed this. Yes. And did the voiceovers and everything? Uh, not for this, okay. because this has uh, subtitles. But oh, okay, okay, okay. The early ones on VHS. That's so cool. Yeah, we were. I got to go home and watch this <laughs> instantly. This is so rad. If you guys don't know what hot version is, it's a bunch of toge mm -hmm. track driving, uh, like a Japanese style. Um, how would you explain hot version? Like, the Japanese, like, it's like, is it like a reality toge show? Kind of? Kind of, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like a real life racing, but in a controlled environment. Yeah, yeah. Tunas. Whether it's toge, like real world toge or on track, it's super, super cool. Mm -hmm. How iconic. You guys are like the, <laughs> the forefathers of what all of us love, all of my generation. Mm. That's so cool. Yeah, the, the crazy thing is like unknowingly, I've probably watched so many of the videos that you guys have produced and just like have no idea and you've shaped the kind of content that I currently make on my channel and what I love to watch. It's That's just so crazy. Small world. Yeah. The, you're gonna send it? Yes, before we go, I have to send it. You already know, we're gonna drive the uh, the BBL EG.
That's sick. Mr. Dustin Williams, may I come in? Come on in. The carpet floorboards. Yeah, I know, man. Oh, you're... Dude, this thing feels so sick. I'm so jealous. What do you mean so jealous? I want my EG to feel like this. Oh. Whenever it's done, it won't be quite as cool because it doesn't have the, the B18. Team, we're gonna do the K-Swap, but this this car feels so damn solid. I mean, you guys saw the engine bay. It's got the spoon-built engine. It's got the crazy titanium header and all like chassis components, like solid motor mounts. She's torquey. Oh my God. Should we take a right? I think you should go right, yeah, you go right. Go ahead. Pause. BBL R32 and now the BBL EG. Both cars absolutely phenomenal. Go ahead. You guys need to make I think you need to make a 40 minute video out of it yeah. and then you guys need to whole watch the whole entire thing to experience <laughs> the whole thing whole thing because this is awesome by the way even as a Japanese guy like me cannot experience this this is so we have to be so thankful to yeah. not only the BBL yeah we have to be thankful to the BBL for doing this and thanks to Yasuka and the yeah. top ranked global team for pulling this off it's, it's so cool to see the BBL guys in America but also get to experience them in their like natural habitat so to speak and you know where where everything actually happens it's, it's very very cool someday maybe we'll have like a bespoke BBL car bespoke BBL R32 BBLD BBLD <laughs> built by <laughs> legends <laughs> Dut. <laughs> built by legends by Dut. <laughs> okay we gotta bring this thing back to the shop dude I want to take this car to Daikoku tonight. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell it would be yeah. cool, right? It would be sick. Sign me up, Masa. Sign me up. The, the most fun I've ever had in a Civic. Bye bye. All right. Well, we have made it out of BBL. What an incredible, incredible jam packed day. This is where I'm going to end today's video. It was so much fun. I don't even remember what we. Oh, spoon shopping and BBL. It was it was incredible, but we're gonna take a little break here at the convenient. 
and we have a pretty awesome car meet that we're heading to tonight at Daikoku, which is where we'll pick up the vlogs next. So I'm gonna end today's video here. I hope you guys are enjoying all the Japan vlogs. It has been a crazy busy trip, but a lot of fun as well. If you guys have been enjoying, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because it does help me out. I'll see all of you guys for the next video. Peace out.